Hello, and welcome back to the Fireflink tutorial sessions. In the following video, we will discuss the different variable options available when creating automation scripts and how to effectively use them in Fireflink. You can work with two kinds of variables, global variables and local variables. Before we show you how to use both types of variables, it's crucial to understand that global variables have project-wide scope, making them accessible across all automation scripts in the project. On the other hand, choosing local variable makes it usable only within the specific script where it was created, and it won't be available in other scripts. Also, remember that you can't reuse an existing global or a local variable name multiple times. Users have three options to create variables, they can do it during script development, or at different levels, such as root module, module, and script level. Another option is to create variables using the configuration section. To create a variable during script development, select an NLP that has an input parameter or a step return value parameter. Let's consider, enter input into element NLP. In this case, you just need to enter the input in the designated field. Once you enter a value, a plus icon appears, giving you the option to convert it into a variable and prevent hard coding the input. Simply click on the plus icon. You can now enter the variable name in the name field and the desired data of the variable in the value field. Choose the type of the variable by accessing the dropdown. Now, click on Create button. To use this variable in the script, simply enter the dollar symbol followed by the variable name in the input text field. Let's explore another method. Users can add variables by going to the variable tab found in the root module, module, or even at the automation script level. Let's understand adding a variable at the root module level. Select the root module, locate the variables tab, and select it. When you click on the variables tab, a menu for global variables will appear. Remember, only global variables can be created at the root and module levels. Just click the plus variable button to open a window for creating variables. Provide the necessary details and click create to generate global variables. You can create global variables in a similar way at the module level. To create a variable at the script level, click on the variable tab from within the script. Here, you can create both local and global variables based on your variable scope requirements. Use the drop down menu from the variables tab and follow the same steps as before. As a third alternative, users can make use of configuration section to create a variable. For that, navigate to the configuration tab in the left-hand navigation area. Among the choices, pick variables, which will direct you to the global variable page. Keep in mind that you can only create global variables here. Next, click the plus variables button, complete the necessary details, and then click on the create button. You would have successfully created a global variable. In summary, we have presented three distinct approaches to variable creation. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, please visit www.fireflink.com and schedule a free demo today.